We're going to spend our time in this video looking at the interactions between the protons and the electrons inside the atoms inside a water molecule. The result of these interactions is to make water a sticky molecule. That's why you can float a paper clip on water surface. It's why water droplets have this spherical shape. And it's also why it takes so much energy to get water to boil away. Here's an orbital model of water. The oxygen has eight protons in its nucleus. Protons are positively charged, so that's eight positive charges. Each hydrogen atom has a nucleus with just one proton, one positive charge. Because there are so many more positive charges in the oxygen nucleus than in either of the two hydrogen nuclei, the way that the negative electrons are shared isn't equal. What happens is that the oxygen nucleus hogs all the electrons, pulling them toward the oxygen side of the molecule. Because more electrons are on the oxygen side, that side winds up with a negative charge. And because the electrons spend most of their time over here by the oxygen, they're rarely over here by the hydrogens. That results in two exposed protons on the hydrogen side of the molecule, which results in two positively charged regions. These charges on the hydrogen and oxygen side of a water molecule aren't as strong as the charges on ions so we refer to them as partial charges. They're represented with a plus or minus sign accompanied by the Greek letter delta. Take a moment and study these diagrams of water, each one showing these partial charges. With these partial charges, water becomes like a magnet. Magnets have two poles and the opposite poles attract one another. Water will do the same thing. The positively charged regions near the hydrogens will attract the negatively charged regions near the oxygen. Because water has these positive and negatively charged regions, making it behave like a magnet, it's called a polar molecule. It's the first of many such molecules that you'll meet in your study of biology. Because the covalent bonds inside a water molecule involve unequal electron sharing, with oxygen hogging all the electrons, making water polar, those bonds are called polar covalent bonds. And the overall condition of having charged regions is called polarity. The attraction between water molecules creates a bond that's called a hydrogen bond. These bonds aren't particularly strong. They're much weaker than the covalent bonds inside a water molecule. But what they do on a molecular level is make water sticky. That stickiness results in a property called cohesion. And we'll see demonstration after demonstration in the next video that shows how cohesion among water molecules affects water's properties. So let's review. Water, first of all, is held together by polar covalent bonds. Second, the unequal electron sharing involved in these bonds gives water charged regions, represented by these delta positive and delta negative signs. Third, oppositely charged regions in water molecules will bind with each other to form hydrogen bonds. And fourth, that makes water a sticky molecule. If you're going to learn this stuff, you've got to interact with it. And that's what I've set up for you over at sciencemusicvideos.com. So go do the interactive readings, work with the diagrams, take the quizzes, leave me comments and questions, and I promise I'll answer them. And then meet me back here for the next video. Thank you.